I'm Steve Shuttle with Sea Island Forge. Today I'm going to be going over some accessories, tips, tricks, and safety features of our kettles with you. If you have any further questions, our owner's manual is always a good resource to go back to. So today I'm going to show you CLM Forge's ratchet grill. I'm going to install the 30 gallon grill on the 30 gallon kettle. What we are seeing some people do that get the 50 gallon kettle is they're actually buying the 30 gallon grill for the 50 gallon kettle. They are interchangeable between the kettles. There are a couple different pieces to the grill. This is the mounting plate. You've got your mounting post and then you have these T-bolts on the underside. You slide that over the lip of the kettle and you want the back of your mounting plate to actually be touching the lip of the kettle. And then just reach down and tighten the T-bolts until they're hand tight. They don't have to be really, really tight, just hand tight is good. Once your mounting plate is on the kettle, the post sleeve actually fits over the post. You push down on the handle and the ratchet teeth alternate left and right. Now once your grill is elevated above the kettle, you can pivot it out to the side just by pushing or pulling the wooden handle. Now one thing you always want to make sure to do is to keep your wooden handle clear of the fire. It is wood, it will burn. So to once, to, once again, to raise the grill, push down on the wooden handle, ratchet teeth alternate left and right. To lower it, lightly push down on the handle, pull both of these tabs back, and it lowers down. So to remove your grill, you're going to raise it up, pivot it away from the fire. You don't want to lean over your fire to remove your grill from your kettle. You're going to grab a rag or some leather gloves or an oven safe mitt. You're going to reach on the outside of your grill and right here on the handle and you're just going to pick straight up. Now before you remove your grill from your kettle, know where you're going. Make sure that the pathway to that place is clear and if there's anybody around, just let them know, hey, I'm gonna remove the grill, that way nobody's getting in your way and you aren't creating an unsafe situation. So to remove your grill, lift straight up, put it over where you had planned to put it, and then you wanna use your same heat protection to loosen the two T-bolts on the underside. And once those are loose, you can grab a hold of the mounting post and remove your, your mounting plate, and then now you're ready to hang up by your kettle. 